I'm watching it. Hopefully, some some of you will join me. We're back in the realms of uh, tiny little paint pots this morning. We have black and we have red, and hopefully, well, I'm not entirely certain, but hopefully, this will be the last bit of um, painting to be done because it is very fiddly business. And then yesterday, I had some glue arrive. So I'll be able to get back to gluing things like these that were painted the other day into place. So apologies for the lighting, I've got the curtain open, there's a lot of bright sun, but the good news is most of it's falling onto my work surface. So we'll just get this camera mounted uh, into a tripod looking down onto the work surface and you'll get a much better view. So let's put that down. There you go, should be able to see much better now. Just bear with me a sec, I will set up a second device so I can monitor what I'm doing. Should be able to see much better now. Oh, somebody's joined me. Good morning, good morning, whoever you are. Please post a comment so I know who you are. Because uh, the screen is somewhat invisible from the other one. Oh, morning, Nikki. What a lovely day. And here's me hiding inside but still enjoying the sun. So, it's red paint time. Um, use a marginally, marginally larger brush. Paint cans are very... Uses for a craft knife. Again, it's a case of the paint only really seems to look the proper colour once you've mixed it up. If I get out of the light, it will show up a little bit better on camera. Boy, do you have to get a lot of it off the brush before you dare use it. One of the advantages of it being this sunny is this paint should dry quicker. I've got to come down right to the edges of this. It needs a very steady hand.
problems. Let's get the system done with the red paint for now, so I can go over the way. Slipping over which one we're working on. Ooh, there's another person watching. I have no idea who you are because I can't see the screen that has the camera on it, so please post a comment so you know who you are. Where are we? I might pick that one up. Black paint. Oh no, we're back down to two again. Oof. Those looks a tad scarily full with this black paint. I think this is black. It looks blue. But I haven't got another hot paint. That one's grey. That one I put to one side is silver. I think the trouble is this looks blue in the paint pot. And then as soon as you paint with it, as soon as you've mixed it up and paint with it, it is a lot darker than blue. Again, I have to wipe a colossal amount of it off the brush. I don't want it dripping everywhere. black in the middle and grey at the edges. Not got much grey paint left, so I may compromise and just make them black all over. Oh, I can hear purists shouting at the internet already. This brush may look tiny, but it's a tad, it's a tad unforgiving. Oh, great, the stream is freezing on my monitoring. Oh, the stream has stopped on my monitoring, that's a bit odd. Hang on a sec. Let me get back to the camera and see what's happening. Oh, still streaming apparently. Oh, it still seems to be working. Whether they go right up to the edges. We may leave as is. We could put some sort of silvery grey around the edges. some grey, which is this, hold it right up to the camera here, but uh, I'm a bit low on this. I might just about, it's a 
assuming it will mix with the black so entirely ruining it. Oh, it's not too bad. I want it dark anyway. Well, they're meant to be grey around the edges, and I don't really have a dark grey. I have the grey I was asked to buy. Oh, now we get into some very delicate colour. Oh. Slightly more surface area to play with down the sides, the long sides, and there's at the top and bottom of this area. And I'm kind of really grateful for the bright sunshine because I can see what I'm up to far better than I would just through artificial light. painting over here where I overran with the, the green or the off-white slash green base colour so if nothing else I'm at least correcting one of my earlier mistakes. Yeah. this up to the camera when I've got both of them done. Start with a fiddly bit. Works really well though. Starting with the smaller, fiddlier bits. But the real trick is to have so little paint on the brush and to still have it be effective. So dealing with very, very tiny areas sort of millimetres wide. It's an odd mixture of being incredibly fiddly and frustrating and then at the same time slightly satisfying to actually get an area done Oh, great. Paint everywhere, including on my fingers. Carefully hold that up to the camera, so hopefully you'll get a better view when you 
do at that distance. Well, I'll hold this up here for quite some number of seconds because I'm on a I'm on delay on my monitoring system. But yeah, as you can see I've got right in there these ridiculously tiny details. So that's where we're going to leave it for now. I've still got about an hour before lunch, so we'll get the glue out because there's at least one of these parts I can be working on and uh, be gluing bits of console controls, gluing controls into position. So back shortly with another live stream. again if certain people are watching again. Um, apologies for these slightly harsh lighting conditions but I've had to open both the blinds and a couple of the windows because I'm dealing with a new glue which does say on its instructions use in a well ventilated area. So I am well ventilated. Thankfully the, it sort of compensates for all the spring sunshine we're getting today. So, uh, we'll just change camera position. If I flip it round in time, I've just realised I've got this the wrong way round in the tripod. Zoom. Oh, there we are. Let's get that tripod set up again. Get my monitoring set up again. As is often the case, I don't know who you were, because I can't see the screen on which I'm transmitting, but... Uh, uh, turn my monitoring down. So... We have left and right meters to put into position. And due to the wonderfully light conditions, the glue should dry quite quickly. Mm. Next door doing DIY. All it says in the instructions for this glue. Hello, good morning, whoever's watching. Uh, God, I'll see what I said well ventilated area. It also said don't even use too much of it, so I'm trying to be very careful. Well, that's the sound of next door drilling. I don't know what they're up to. So we've also got these these little things to glue into position. They do say if you're going to steal steal from the best. Coming soon to BBC Four. 
James May is the reassembler. So essentially a half hour version of what I've been posting to Facebook recently, only the other way around. Slightly more complexly done. Yeah, we've also got these. This little control to put into position and these lights. One of which I didn't manage to paint properly, but I'm just going to have to live with it. God, I'm suddenly glad I've got two. Windows open. actually say to put this on both surfaces but there's quite a lot going on this one surface so hopefully that may suffice now that little black control I'll put some on the back of that delicately put that down Oh, for goodness sake, chop them away with glue. I end up saying where have I put the damn lid? It was right here in front of me. And now I can't see it. Great. It's not the hole on the floor. Ah, there it is. Gotcha. Let's not lose you. So where were we? Um, you are left. It says with this glue, all you need to do is position stuff and press it down. We're playing with so much surface area that I'm taking a punt on the fact that it may well work just on one. Oh, it's a little loose. Possibly because these are very, very not sure if the camera picks it up, but they're very shiny underneath. Well, it seems to be holding now. Suddenly it becomes clear how much glue I've put in here, because as soon as I press the right one down, little bits of glue start spurting out. But I do have to press it down. I have managed to get them both in straight. So that's good. Who's watching now? Oh, good morning, Christian. Join us for live gluing. I have moved on to Humbrol Poly Cement, which is quite powerful stuff. There's none of this waiting for 10 minutes for the glue to dry. It's used in a well ventilated area. Put it on both surfaces, and I'm taking a punt on putting it on one surface. It seems to be working, and then just press down and kind of hope for the best. So now we're moving on to these, which are very oddly uneven underneath. Seconds. Seems to be holding. Another one. What's there? I'm 
also seems to be hollow. Now we get the really fun part. I think we'll start with the one we can still just about do by hand, which is this little tiny black control here. You practically drop into position and then hold it in place. is not taking I'm gonna to have to put some glue see the trouble is there's an actual hole there and I don't know why there's a hole there because you're effectively just sticking a black control right on top of it I don't think it actually needs a spindle Put a blob of glue right on that hole. Start with on the control itself. See, it's not flat, and that's what's that's what's causing the problem. Delicately. Ah, now I think it'll take because there's so much glue it's all spilling out the edges. Yeah, I think that's taken. And now the really fiddly parts. Which again, I've only put glue on one surface, partly because these little lights do actually slot into position fairly well. But we're going to resort to tweezers now. Things get very fiddly. Can't press down with as much surface area. The tweezers, the camera down fingers. That seems to be taken. So if I use the tweezers, very carefully position them. Do the actual pressing. This one is not a good fit. No matter how much pressure I put on it, it's not a good fit that one. Must be said more than one of them are not a brilliant fit. They do seem to be holding. There's a couple of these where the painting is not perfect. the worst in position last.
again it's a very tight fit oh that was useful I'll try pressing them all down in the same way and see if I can encourage any of the others to click into position but I don't think they will so that well, these seem a tad wonky but that's the advantage of using this slow acting glue you can reposition things whereas Gary who designed this kit was recommending people use super glue very good super glue it's very good and some scarily fast so that Now all glued down, carefully pull that off, and hopefully the lighting conditions are such that you can get a decent view, and I'll lift it a little closer to the camera, but I'll take some uh, photographs in a few minutes time. So that's going to have to be put on one side to dry. Those who may not have watched before, this is a near completed panel from the other day. We're using the last of the other glue to stick stuff down. This still needs some of this metal grid cutting to size and putting there. And it's not alone because this needs some metal grid cutting into size and putting there. So if I stick that with that. I think time coming up to midday, uh, we'll be leaving it for now, uh, there should be some time to do some control gluing into position after lunch, then I've got another Blu-ray I want to watch because unlike some of you, I didn't see The Martian at the cinema. So I have got the Blu-ray, and we'll stick that on this afternoon. Yes, I know there's Formula One qualifying, but um, I don't mind missing Formula One qualifying if it means seeing a good film before dinner time. So, if you have enjoyed this morning's live gluing and painting experience, bye for now. <laughs>
how anyone manages to do this and make it all look so wonderfully neat and tidy, I don't know, because it's just a series of shortcuts that I'm trying to join together in my case. And we're still not all the way through. So I will have to um, up the ante like I have done before and use the solid surface of the wood, which unfortunately means we're going to have to damage the disc. Exactly the same amount of pressure, but I've got much more solid surface. E and there, more or less, we go. Put a little bit of fine tuning on the edge of that. Who's watching? It's a bit hard to tell. No, I won't be on much longer this afternoon because I've got the Blu ray of the, the Martian calling me. Another film that I managed to miss at the cinema, so that's that cut. Put that the way. And that goes like that. This will be working around control panel two at the moment. Oh, it took me so incredibly delicate with this. So that's that one. It's so warm in here. It was in the 80s, it's now 74.8 Fahrenheit. That, that, for example, that I painted this morning is now dry enough to touch. So that's very good news. So now we need glue again, and there's a lot of these little piano style controls go on here, and an upward vein by the looks of things, all of them. Get all those turned around to being upward. I mean, those that I painted this morning, they're probably dry enough to put into position as well. So I'm just going to do the rounds of various holes. So three piano key controls go in here. Another one goes up there, another one goes over there, and we've got this 
things in this corner. And we've got the various lights. What is it above? Oh, it's another one of those handles. A bit of glue for that handle. Get these lights done. Hmm? Oh, it's strong. If you mix stuff this glue, I'm rather glad I've got a couple of windows open. Everywhere that needs glue has now got glue. Start. <clears throat> Start getting things into position for this. Oof. There's there. I guess we'll do all of the uh, piano key controls next because they're very fiddly. We'll give that about a minute or so held in place. Let's start to do these. Some of them may end up slightly wonky, but they are at least in. Oh, spoke too soon. I was about to say they are at least in position. So. Things are incredibly hard to hold down in position. We'll just have to try it like that. Yeah. That is going to be fun, isn't it? Oh dear. Hopefully they'll be a bit better when they've dry. Our friend on the other side here will at least hold down a little bit of surface area. <coughs> now, try and put these lights in with the tweezers. dried wonderfully quickly. I only painted them about two, about two, two and a half hours ago maybe. Yeah, about two and a half hours ago at the most these were painted. They're already dry enough to touch. Great, we seem to be short by one, unless that's meant to be a... Well, we are, we're short by one. 
great. On the whole one that I haven't painted at all. And yet I counted them this morning, so I wasn't mystified as to how I um, remotely won short. I can get it painted now, but it won't be possible to install it probably till tomorrow. That's what we want to hear on all of them. But we never do. So yeah, we'll have to dig one out and meanwhile. We have got plenty of these lovely little lever controls, and in this case we need three. There's one that goes right above everything here. Oh, this is going to be fun. Gotcha. I mean, that barely needs glue at all, that one. There was another one. There's another one on the far left here. Which shows up the flaws in my painting of this particular panel. So that one's in. And then there's a third one just to the just to the right of that. So what I need to find is another one of those. I mean, what with the glue, it is tempting to stick one down and then try and fit a delicate painting on it tomorrow. Because then at least that would be a near complete panel then. Yet again, I'm putting off doing this Cutting and installing of this gauze stuff and not very keen on that at all. No, it's very, very odd. I counted them up, I painted them, and now I can't find one of them. And it's not lying around loose on the desk. I can't see it on the floor either. So we're just going to have to put an unpainted one in for now. And hopefully be able to delicately paint that tomorrow. But, uh, still not 100% is it? So a bit more glue needs doing. Just there. Just 
down to the tweezers being more appropriate again. So you know, apart from the the metal gauze needing to be added, and apart from one bit of painting that's almost complete, it needs a few of these tiny little controls put into place, but that's quite pleasing. And uh, I think. That's where we'll that's where we'll call it a day for today. I'm gonna to watch a film and I'm gonna to edit together all these bits of streamed video and um, hopefully some of you will be able to join me tomorrow morning for a bit of painting and a few more installations of controls. Probably a bit more painting mostly because I I keep spotting controls that need painting. So, goodbye for now.